The island of Sodor was caught up in the grips of a big freeze. Icicles hung from bridges and signals. It wasn't cold enough to make snow, but everywhere else was coated in white frost, from trees to water towers. The sheds were chilly too, and the engines were relieved when they had fires blazing in their fireboxes to keep them warm. But the diesels were not so lucky. In the cold weather, their engines had difficulty starting. Some didn't suffer too badly, but Bear in particular had great trouble. His engine growled and spluttered as it tried to turn over. James always loved the chance to prove that steam engines were superior to diesels, and this proved no exception. Deary me, he chortled. Living up to your name this morning, eh, Bear? Not my fault, grunted Bear. This blasted ice age is stopping me up. Pity, really, James went on. At least us steam engines can start no matter the weather. And he flounced away in a cloud of steam. Never mind him, Bear, assured Henry. His advantage is that he has that enormous ego to keep him warm. Bear smiled ruefully, and a few minutes later, his engine finally kicked in, and he was able to start work. Later that day, James had to take a stopping passenger train up the line. He found he couldn't keep up his smug expression in the freezing cold. His teeth chattered as he headed towards the coaches. Thank goodness it isn't snowing, shivered his driver. James agreed. Sometimes, water towers froze over, and the engines couldn't get the water they needed. Thankfully, this never happened at the workstation. When they arrived, James's driver stopped him alongside the water column. We'll give you a good topping up while we can, said the driver. Goodness knows if we'll get a chance later. James shivered as the water cascaded into his tender. The driver and fireman got distracted trying to keep warm, and as a result, they forgot to turn the tap off. Water spilled over James's tender, making him shudder. Watch what you're doing, he snapped. Sorry, said the fireman, scrambling to turn the tap off. The water stopped, and James shivered miserably in the cold air. Engines have a special tap called an injector. It allows the driver or fireman to transfer water from the tender to the boiler. It's very important. Without it, the water in the boiler would become too low to make steam properly. They had not gone far before James felt thirsty. I need a drink, please! The driver switched on the injector, but nothing happened. The fireman tried his duplicate, but still nothing. I've got such a pain, moaned James. Your injector failed, said the driver. Blockage in the pipe, most likely. We'll have to stop and deal with your fire. Can't go without water. They stopped by a signal box, and James's driver asked the signalman to call for help. They stood there for a long time, and with his fire out, James began to feel the cold on his boiler. Then, he heard a familiar horn behind him, and he realized who it was. Oh no, he groaned. Bear rolled up behind him. Having trouble, James? Cold weather got you down? Certainly not, James snapped. Just normal, everyday, not cold-related problems. Well, that's where you're wrong, interrupted the fireman. Your filler cap is frozen shut from when the water overflowed on it. Ice is stopping air from getting into the tank, and so the injectors can't work. You'll be all right once the ice melts. Bear couldn't help but chuckle at this news, and James blushed with such embarrassment he could have melted the ice himself. Bear pushed the train to the next station, where Douglas took it over, and then he helped James home. James was quiet for a long time, but eventually he spoke. I'm sorry about this morning, he muttered. That's all right, Bear replied. We engines must pull together, whatever the weather. Hardly seems sporting to freeze you out over it. James rolled his eyes, but smiled. He knew he was getting off easy.